All right, this is completely unrelated to anything to do with Dark Souls, but I'm going to play some music for you, and I want you to try and guess what this song is from. I'll give you a hint. It plays when an Italian plumber is fighting a giant turtle in space. So if you didn't know or you didn't play the game that it, it originally was in, uh, that song is from Super Mario Galaxy, the original on the Wii. And I don't know why Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2's soundtracks go so hard for literally no reason. But I mean, here we are, I guess. A uh, Mario game from 2007 has an OST that could fit into like a Souls game. But yeah, here I am back playing Arch Thrones and I was considering Considering streaming this, but I figured more people would probably see the finale of my playthrough of the demo if I made it into a video. So uh, that's why I said I was going to stream it the other day, but then I decided to make it into a video. So, but uh, yeah, I have one more uh, world to do, which is uh, this one, the L.A.M. Lois from Dark Souls 2. By the way, the fact that they put this in here is insane. I don't know. I wonder how much of like this scenery is ripped from Dark Souls 2 or whether they had to remake it by hand. This is like insanely impressive. But yeah, we're going to walk forward here and uh, hopefully not die. If I remember correctly, you have to go through here and then there's a boss when you come back. But yeah, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. Uh, I was struggling when I first started playing this mod and I just realized the HUD is off. But uh, the last stream, I discovered the power of uh, not power stancing weapons because for whatever reason, enemies don't stagger if you power stance your weapons. But if you one hand weapons and spam R1, they stagger. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or intentional, but yeah, power stancing is super cool. And I love that they put it into this mod, but it literally, it's so not worth doing because you just end up getting hit when if you were to R1 spam, you would stagger everything. Well, I warn thee to keep thy distance. Seize thy trespass, and disturb not the domain of our Lord Kremel. No. Anyways, um, I remember when I watched the Mario movie, when it came out like what, like a year ago? Yeah, I remember getting to the end of that movie and during the credits, god damn it, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, there we go. But uh, I remember getting to the end of that movie and during the credits, they play, what is it? The, oh, I forget what it's called. The Gusty Winds uh, song from Super Mario Galaxy 1. And I don't cry at things often. In fact, I can't remember the last time I cried over like a piece of media, but I won't lie. When I heard that song start playing during the credits, I like, I didn't like tear up or cry, but that feeling you get when you're about to start crying, that's what I got. I think, you know, looking back on it, I think Mario Galaxy 1 is probably one of, it's definitely my favorite Mario game, but it's probably one of my favorite games of all time ever. And a lot of people say that uh, Galaxy 2 is the better game. And I agree with that in terms of like, you know, the actual like levels and the gameplay and everything. But in there's something about Galaxy 1's vibe and atmosphere, which is a really weird thing to say about a Mario game. But just stay with me for a second. Something about that game is just it's so different compared to all the other ones, even Galaxy 2. I feel like Galaxy 2 is more of like an upgrade and expansion of Mario Galaxy 1 again in terms of like levels and gameplay. Also, Galaxy 1 has a way better bowser boss fights than galaxy 2 and the music that i played at the beginning is from that boss fight so oh am i gonna die again i swear to god oh my god all right that oh oh that was almost bad oh there's music here hey it's this sick ass area now all sauna is obviously not here so i wonder who the lady talking to us is oh, supposed to be so thy arrogance must be punished Oh, 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 oh. I like how, yeah, you fight your way in there and then she's just like, no, get the fuck out. If I touch this. Oh, Sorg needs help. Okay, shit. Yeah, Sorg is an NPC, by the way, in this mod. Because, you know, it's a prequel to DS3. <laughs> the no, let me repost, you fuck. All right. Oh, so this is a very cool reuse of the move set from Sekiro from the monk. 
Oh! Uh, that just murdered me instantaneously. All right. All right, sir. Don't die before I load into my world. Jesus Christ. That was close. <laughs> I, I don't think if I, I don't think embering will actually matter, but all right, buddy, let's try this again. That was loud. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at the damage. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to hit him still. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's attacking me. Ugh. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, that phantom attack is really scary when you can't parry it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, Sorig. Well, that was easy. Damn. Oh, yeah. I took this job long ago because Kremlin demanded it from me. Yet, the secret down below. Liam Lois had already smothered one flame in ice, but a flame of sin has emerged. Kremlin's gone mad with it. And they thought they could hide it all from me. Huh. Let's put the gold of struggle out of his misery. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah! Sick. We're buddies now. I was worried I would get sent back to my world while he was talking, but they managed to keep you in the world while he's talking. So that's actually funny. So wait, if I walk in there, I still have to fight the boss, right? Foolish emissary. Oh, yeah. Drowned in the stench of curiosity. I shall put thee down. Fitting of a mongrel. That's rude. Oh, hello. Die. Oh! God, you have no idea how badly I want to parry all these moves. That's okay. I'm going, I'm going to intentionally eat that hit. It's all part of the plan. Also, this design is super sick. Oh my God, it's so delayed. This is actually fucking with me really bad. Ow. All right, I think this one is a wash, but... No! Y'all, you bitch. Oh my god, that does so much damage, holy shit. All right, all right, all right, okay, this, I, I should be able to do this. Eh, I forgot, I have to run all the way in. There's enemies up here now, unlike in the DLC. Oh, that was close. Oh my god. Why do you, <laughs> okay. I wanted to use the Ember as an extra heal, but I'm gonna use it to give myself more health and then also heal myself. I wonder if I could poison. All right, I literally couldn't see what is happening. That didn't hit me. Oh my god, it's so delayed. Stop it. Oh, that's so fucking delayed. Oh, holy shit. And that's not because of... Okay. You know, the reason this bonfire is out here in the regular DLC is because there's no enemies up here. So running through this giant path is not as annoying. I wonder if I can poison the boss. I'm going to try that even though it's a, probably a horrible idea. I want to believe. That did not hit me. I literally can't see what's happening. Okay. All right, no self, no fun allowed. Oh, see, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the character you get the eyeball from in the Dark Souls 2 DLC. I did not mean to do that twice. And eh, okay, well, of course I stagger her on the trade. Okay. Oh my God, it's a delay. Oh, 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 that's fucked up. That did not hit me. This music is cool, though. Are you good, bro? I, okay, that wasn't there on the floor, but that's fine. And she's doing it again. Oh, my God. Of course, there's no window to attack her there anymore, because fuck you, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's just, let's just cover up every single attack window that you're supposed to have. 
in the second phase. That's super fun. You know, I was like, oh, I could probably beat the mod today. And then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that, may, that might not be the smartest thing I've thought in my life. Maybe the area, but I, I stopped to do the Phoenix boss as well. And uh, yeah, if I'm having trouble on this, that might not go the way that I think it's going to. Oh my God, I don't have the fucking stats to use this. Are you shitting me? Uh, what does the thing give my... All right, just enough. All right, cool. All right, you brought this upon yourself. I say as I've never parried a thing in this game before. Ow. I dodged that. Of course, the camera fucks with you, so you end up dodging into her. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay, so it, they, you can't just parry the boss to death. You have to do it like three times in a row or some shit. That's not- that's so bullshit! How they, they give you an attack to do out of your pair- Oh, that's so fucking dumb. How did I waste five heals already, by the way? Okay. I noticed that if you run straight into the enemies and then run around them at the last second, they like don't know what to do because their attacks are supposed to catch you running away from them. It's actually funny. Where are my souls- oh, my souls are all the way over there. Oh, sick. All right, hold on. Hold on, buddy. I'll deal with you in a second. And by deal with you, I mean probably die 600 more times. That was a- I parried that. Fuck off, game. Cool. Awesome. I'm glad that's how you decided that would work. I'm glad you robbed me of my repost. That was awesome. Dumb bitch. Oh man, uh, this is making me... I'm getting Sekiro flashbacks. Hey, right, I just need to survive this. I'm gonna die. That's so bullshit. I'm... okay. Cool, awesome. Literally no way to dodge that. Yeah, I knew pairing, trying to parry this boss would be a stupid idea, but now, like, that I'm getting it relatively, like, consistently, now it's like a point of pride. Now I have to do it by parrying. I don't have, like, a critical attack to do more damage ring, do I? You know, I should probably actually... Do I have Homeward Bones? Let me grab my souls and spend my money. Oh, I forgot. You can actually summon Sorg for the fight. I don't want to do that, but uh, I might. Oh, we'll see. I kind of want to parry the boss to death, though. Also, I don't have to worry about my souls anymore all right there's one there's two. Oh, oh my god that's fucked up <laughs> that fucking shit dick fuck ass this fucking stupid ass delayed attacks i hate why did they put the bonfire out here all right, let's try this again. I don't think I'm going to have time to two-hand my weapon if I parry her, but... Cool. Awesome. Sick. This game is so good and fun. I'm glad people spent time making... I parried that, but okay, cool. Why is the bonfire out here? Why is the bonfire out here? Why is the bonfire out? The only reason it's out here is so that enemies can hit you on your way to the boss. Literally made to be as annoying as... It counted a partial parry. That's weird, actually. That did not hit me. Oh my god, this game is so fucking bad. Why are you still chasing me? Why are you still chasing me? Why are you still chasing me? Why are you still... Cool, I'm glad she hits me and does half of my health. Because leveling up health and stamina doesn't do fucking sh Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? You ever stop to think about how much better the world will be if you just never existed? I've parried three moves and they're not counting. Cool, awesome. All right, that's two attacks that I parried, and the game was like, Haha, no, actually, you didn't, idiot. That's three. Okay, cool. That's so not fair. That's not... Okay. What a shit-ass game.
No, no, you don't get to just hit me when I'm running to the boss. I parried that. Why is the game lost? What? Oh my god. As that should have been a parry. You can parry Gundir when he does that, but for some reason they made it so you can't do it to this boss. Unless I was just arbitrarily too far away. Oh, there you go, running away again as soon as I get the upper hand because you're a little fucking bitch. Literally impossible to hit her for the past 30 seconds. Awesome, cool. I parried that, but okay. You can just keep lying, game. You're very good at that. Dumb bitch. Get fucked, idiot. I'm so much better than you, it's not even fucking. I. What? I literally, there's no way to dodge that from the front. And now she's running away. This boss is so sh. That is the most bullshit fucking thing I've ever- Those parries just didn't count, I guess. Cool, awesome. You wanna do attacks that I can actually, like- Are you so- Oh my god. Stop. Stop doing those attacks. Stop it. And she just starts doing attacks that she's never done before. Awesome, cool, I'm glad. This boss is so well designed. You know, if I lacked any amount of self-control, I would punch a hole through my monitor, but I'm poor and depressed, so I bitch and complain, but my ego is not big enough to physically destroy things. If I'm parrying and it's coming out, there's no reason I, I should be losing health. By the way, I don't know if they knew how parrying works in video games, but usually don't take damage when you do. Wow, oh my god, are you fucking joking? That counted, but it didn't. Uh, fucking. Uh, ah! I have to piss. Why is the wind up so long? I'm sitting there for fucking eternity waiting for the attack to. I'm doing it too early, I get hit and die. If I do it too late though, and I wait too long, then I get hit and I die. What the fuck is the point? Those were both successful parries, and it just didn't give it to me. And because doing partial parries consumes a shit ton of stamina, I didn't have enough stamina to roll out of that, and I just died. And I have to sit through the fucking loading screen, and then I have to run my ass all the way down this fucking bridge. Come on! This takes so fucking long running back here. Put the bonfire in the room. Put the bonfire in the room. Why isn't it like right there? And why are the enemies allowed to follow me in here? Fuck! I... Okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you fucking say. It, I counted, but I still took damage because fuck me, I guess. Being bullshit ass, stupid fuck. That was a parry, but. There's no. <laughs> if you get hit by the charge, you instantly die. Like, the game's just bullshitting me, because I'm getting the fucking better of it. It's so stupid. Literally no difference in the timing that I'm using, but it just doesn't work for some reason sometimes. I parried all of those attacks and none of them counted.
swing on me! You stupid fuck! I got 12 grand for that, by the way. You know, I had my face cam on, but I'll, I'll turn it on when I feel like... Ugh. Oh, there's a bonfire up here for the boss that's here. Oh, that's... Fucking convenient, thank god. Uh, putting bonfires next to your bosses. Oh, what a fucking benign concept. By the way, I should point out, I fought that boss for like an hour and a half. I don't know how long that section is going to be in the video. I'll probably just cut out a chunk of the attempts just so the video is like not super long, but it's crazy how leveling up stamina only gives you two points of stamina. I don't know if it's like this in the vanilla game or not. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played it, but yeah. DS3 mods are obsessed with gimping how much stamina you can use and have. Look how many points of health I get for a single level, or 40 points of health that I'm getting for a single health point. Oh my god. You know, I was in a somewhat decent mood when, when I started recording this video. You know, talking about super happy shit like Super Mario Galaxy. And uh, yeah, that boss fight completely just ruined my whole mood, so. You won't be able to tell in the video, but I'm gonna take a small break because I have to take care of something soon. So I'm gonna stop the recording here and then come back and continue playing the game. Straight.